Welcome to the second episode of Refrigerant Renegades! Are we really that different? Have you ever wondered what the difference is between us? How about a little chemistry lesson to help this make sense? I am R32 Frostbite. Remember CFCR12? It had two fluorine atoms and two chlorine atoms bonded to one carbon. If you replaced one of those chlorine with a hydrogen, then you get HCFCR22. If you replaced both of those chlorine with hydrogen, then you would get me, HFCR32. But I'm a bit flammable on my own, so I was blended with R125 to tame the flame. Did you know that R410A was two different refrigerants? I'm a perfect balance of HFCR32 and HFCR125. I'm known out there as R410A, the chill mask. I have a global warming potential of 2,088 times that of CO2, and I'm ozone friendly. I myself have a global warming potential of 677 times that of CO2, and I'm ozone friendly, but I am slightly flammable as an A2L. I wonder what would happen if I were blended with R. 1234YF. You could get me R454B or my brothers R454A and R454C. How about that? I have an even lower global warming potential of 466, but I am still a bit flammable as an A2L. I am a blend of 69.1% HFCR32 and 30.9% HFO R1234YF. So why do I have to be charged upside down as a liquid? What makes me different? All 400 series refrigerants are blends, so we charge as liquid, so as not to potentially separate. But what is an HFO? Where did I come from? And why am I so different? You are still made of the same elements. You just have a unique olefin bond between the carbon atoms. See there? That double bond is what makes you unique. That's the way that it came to be? Who's down with GWP? Yeah, you know me! Become an HVACR superhero with ESCO. Learn more at escogroup.org.